But some of y'all might not some of y'all might not have caught all of that, but for the ones that did, they understand <laughs> that sometimes you have to you have to meet that with the same aggression. You know what? People make fun of Icy for dropping that donut um, until the last round and whatnot. I look at it cool, as a lesson they learned. They, would, they wouldn't have made it there. No, no, not at all. I look at it as a lesson learned because that's going to make Icy even hungrier to win come San Diego. But kicking things off on Foundation, we're going to be on board <laughs> with no other than Echo Fox Red Icy, a guy who's just completely dominant when it comes to power weapons, shotgun play, and extremely smart when it comes to the game of Gears of War. He's going to be at the pits. He's going to throw a smoke at B. He's two players in front of him, one being Prey. So he's going to rush out to the middle to help out with the initial fight. He gets taken down by Prey. So Prey, making bloodthirsty, took for more fights. The franchise takes him out, and Kyle takes out Explosives. They got that last down, but it's only two players alive. Go. Yeah, okay, so this is Kenny's gonna be in a power position. He's gonna have the cross, right? Power's gonna dive right into that hill. Mental was debating which way was he gonna go, and they actually make a big heads up play to go for B. Kenny wasn't expecting that one. And you see, he just runs all the way back. Gets, oh, he's gonna get chased, and Mental knows he wants it. Oh, he gets down. Such a nice shot by Kenny. Ooh. Powers! Ooh. Powers! Powers gets the double, taking out Praise and explosive. If I block your ear drones, I'm sorry. But Powers has been an absolute monster ever since joining this Echo Fox roster. That's a ball owl killer, y'all. That was nasty. Oh, oh. Kenny putting out the punches on seven. That's what you love to see. That's a ball That's killer. what you love to see. Blaze. Powers. Yo, I, you know what I mean? You know it's okay, because explosive is a bad one too, y'all. Echo Fox White. I appreciate <laughs> Kenny committing to that wall. Committed to that B button. But they didn't win. <laughs> I appreciate the commitment to it. No, if they lose this round, Blaze, I'll tell you. <laughs> oh, <laughs> There's man. no shot. We'll see. We'll see the Optic spring into action because now Optic is pissed, you guys. I want y'all to oh, know yeah. that Optic Gaming <laughs> are playing at 120% currently because they are upset. The okay. fact that Kitty had the audacity to wipe by them before the game was even over is ridiculous. Franchise is taken up by explosive of powers. Once again, looking for kills Ooh. left and right. Gets a double kill. Taking out explosives oh. and solars. Looking for the third. Is he going to get a no? He's going to get some help on Ooh, Mitchell. Mitchell gets out. taken out by Icy. Nice heads up play from Powers. Playing like a veteran. Pulling out a pistol and helping out his team before he was taken down by Tony. You see, you see, the thing is that when you look at a lot of these players' screens, right, you're going to still see that cog symbol, that, that health bar on these screens because yeah. they're trading shots back and forth. And they know that sometimes they have to deliver a shot when they're full red and not run for cover. Because if they run for cover, that's when they that's when they leave themselves open to get down and get that final blow. Sometimes they just gotta deliver a stronger blow in order to win those gunfights. So Blaze, I have a question. Right now you see the C Hill and B Hill currently capped by Optic Gaming. But there's such a thing as a double home home setup. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. On this map you can do it on both halves, right? That's what makes the foundation such a a, a versatile map, because you can run the neutral and the home hill setup or both home hill setups on both halves of the map. Not every map you can do that based off the geography and layout of it all. Uh, some just don't work and they just they're not smart at smart setups so they can be easily broken. Uh, and this one, we're going to see Echo Fox. They want to prioritize the top table's push. Optic can win it off the two, and they're trying to get aggressive. That's a big down. They're working together. They're trying to get the last one, but they can't. But what did the B? Yeah, because it was a 3v3 up top, and it was a 1v1 towards the B hill. Fran, if he can go big, keep this player off as long as possible, he knows that he has to step up to the fight to try to get it, to hold the two cap as long as he could. That C hill was almost decapped. It did get decapped. They went off one hill Somebody now. overextended. That went off one hill. That was beautiful. Echo Fox still has a B hill. They can win. They got they two on B. They got seconds. two on B. Nobody's there. So right. in a nail biter, we just that thought that nice. Echo was going to end it early. <laughs> Why button? You thought ball. Optic was going to make the comeback. <laughs> it goes down to a wire in a 210, a 200 finish. Kenny's wild for that. <laughs> <laughs> I would, yo, but Kitty's wild for but that. But no, honestly though, like they, that's probably not his fault because even in like, even him distracting two players to come kill him, that's it two players helps. away from the home hill, right? At the end of the day, it wasn't his fault. The fight was lost in the home hill, but he could have been a little bit more, you know, putting yeah. some damage on to him. But at the same time, you gotta. You know, sometimes, especially with this optic roster, they don't be wide button you the whole time. You gotta <laughs> wide button them, and you get gotta try head. to get in their heads. They're Captain Seahill. So give him credit for round number one. 
that he managed to get into position to decap that because that decap is the reason why they won that round. Ooh, we here we are on round two, looking at pretty much a basic strat two down for pistols on each team. You see a smoke grenade come out from the explosives. He's still running down to the left. Ooh. He's powers in front of him. Excuse me, Cal. He takes out Cal with a headshot. Crazy gets taken out by Icy, but Icy also <laughs> dies. So <laughs> explosives. Looking for his tip kill. Oh. Yes, he gets it, but he gets taken oh. down. Oh, here he oh, goes. Oh. Solar's trying to get a double kill and able oh. to do so. Kenny with the double to get the middle hill. And Echo Fox, they're looking good. I'm sorry, guys, if I'm going to make too many sound effects. But I this is a good game. But I, that, those are legitimate sound effects and excitement between these, between these two teams because these, these, these fights have been going back and forth. I told you, the top three. The top three is so close. So all right, close. we saw Space Station Gaming uh, play today, and I'm pretty top sure. Four. I'm pretty sure all those other players are watching. Who who is the fourth? I'll, I'll who, say who, Ghost, who? I'll say Ghost Gaming says who? Fighting Chance. Ghost who? Ghost Gaming. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> got a, got a top three close, y'all. All right. Top three close as hell. All right. You know, and that's not shade against Ghost, but that team. We, we do expect that better. That team. They gotta, you know, they gotta, they gotta get more. They gotta get their consistency back. They made a big roster change that, that affected them, right? It affected them from winning the event to getting a fourth. Not a fan. Not a Okay, fan. so, but it's not about Ghost Gaming because that's 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 a deeper conversation. That's, that's not it. We're talking about optic gaming in Echo Fox. Yeah. And here goes Summers in one v two. He notices that he can't win that fight against Franchise. So he runs back, gets down before he was able to get behind cover. But Franchise, he's Alpha Black. He pushes in with a teammate, which is Red Icy. They have explosives in their sights. They're gonna hit him with a few support fire. He's full red. Oh, they're going in for the kill, Blaze. They are going in for the kill. Oh. oh. But you're gonna see Icy, so he manages to get that kill to make sure his teammate can tap up. Two hill advantage in favor of Echo Fox. The overextension coming through. They're looking to play for the Dom. Can Summons make the play? He cannot. The trip cap Dom coming through. They're too good, Blaze. I'm telling you, man. Echo Fox. They're coming for the throne. And now, Optic Gaming after this, yeah, you say it's online. Yeah, you say it was just the 2K. You still got to be worried, man. It's still, but, at the, but at the same time, at the, ti at the tippity top, the, tip the 2Ks do have big in influences and impacts on these teams' mentalities, especially going to the All event, the time. right? Because they know this is still a good sign of how well these teams are evenly matched, you know? All these players' pings are under 50, pretty much, besides powers. Uh, you know, and, and this is still a, this is still a close, right? Yeah. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll see. Momentum though. is a thing now. Momentum is a thing. You win these two Ks, you show Optic Gaming that they're not the best in the game. It's gonna lead into San Diego. Cow, six kills, five downs. They're gonna make a big play. There's a boom shot down. Look at them. Low. They all grouped up. You, you go. gotta be careful with these. Yeah, keep your distance. Don't oh, get them. nice boom shot franchise. Oh, the up in the, the boom shot. Wipes the team out. All five down for Optic Gaming. We're looking for domination. That boom uh, is gonna come. I believe he may have one more. Yeah. So it has to get the home. Yeah, yeah, no, he's gonna bring it. There we go. The boom is in the hand of Fran. He's in, he's he's in the power position. Smart. Don't shoot it on the first guy. Okay. He went down. I dig it. Powers did go down as well, I believe. I don't think he's there. Now nah, he has to back up. Yeah, Fran was in a, in a good position. So if I'm Fran with that boom shot on the next time around, nice I'm gonna be top tables with that boom, right? His angle was too far in the open. Too far in the open for my uh, for my liking, but you're gonna see Solar. He's gonna be in the open area of the map, right? He's gonna actually go back towards mid. Now he's chilling in the host pocket. Going back towards open, debating on on, on, uh, on which area he has to defend. So he's gonna be watching his teammates back towards mid map, trying to let his teammates have a good chance at this fight. How he gets one, could not get the second. Him and Icy are both gonna go down. Kenny, Kenny, he knows that these guys are weak, so he's just trying to get one shot in, just trying to get down, trying to get chunk. At least take one more towards the grave. Fran's stun will not connect. He's gonna be top tables moving towards the C hill now. This is gonna be the home hill of Optic Gaming. Power's gonna be there as well. 2v2 fight. They're gonna get it for free. Their home hill's gonna be protected as well. That's gonna be a devastating blow there by Power as well. This is one of Power's favorite spot. When I first saw Power's play, I saw him clutch numerous times, getting 1v2s and 1v3s here. Let me see if you can try to work match before red. Looks like it's very unlikely as Kyle is taking out behind him as he comes to help. So Power's Kyle took damage for Power's to make yeah, sure he got away sure safely. Alive. Yeah, there's little things like that, right? He knew he was weak. The call out came through. 
but hey, keep keep your MVP up. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know that's that's that's, that's sometimes veteran players got to do things like that. I like that. I like that. They approached they, they, they approach them with caution. That was nice. That was smart. Take notes if you're at home. You don't always push a fight with a shotgun. Now get your angles, play it slow, make sure you get the high percentage kill. That's exactly. The home is in jeopardy. Fran knows it. He's gonna have to try to double back towards the one B. He needs the one touch. He did touch. Does it equate to anything else, though? No, nope, that's it. I've been game. Hey. Oh, Power. What you about? You got the nice trade. That was it. It's that clear. That trade opened it up. It's it's clear. If you take a look at the points, Echo Fox there. still has the lead. Oh. That's power so good. Still has. I'm telling you, like, yo, no, he he went to his first like. <laughs> all right. So for all you guys at home, and I believe anybody who has competed on land in a in an esports tournament can attest. After you come back from your first event, you become a better player. That's you learn a lot. That was Power's first major event. Imagine how, how much, and he was already good. He was already a savage, yeah. right? So imagine him coming back from that event. Imagine how talented his future is, right? Come on now. That's, that's why you should always come go on to now. land, because you never know what's going to happen. You don't. All right. You don't. So powers, 11 kills, three down so far in the third round of the game. You hear the sound, 2-10, Echo Fox up, 3-0 mm. against Optic Gaming and letting them know that they're here now and they're on top. Ooh. Mm -mm. That is, ooh. This is a scary team. That's I'm a sorry. Like, I'm genuinely hyped after every round because this team, they're well, they're yeah, used well, to bounce no, better well, yeah, than they've ever been. And, 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 and if, you know, if, you, if you're new to Gears Fight Nights, you have to understand that Optic Gaming beats them up is the best team in the world. <laughs> yeah. All right? Optic Gaming is one of the most dominant teams. The core three of Explosive Summons and Praise, I'm not for Explosive Summons and Mental, is is devastating, right? Yeah. Solars and Praise, this, this is a team that is that was said to be the five best players in the game on one unit, right? So, it come, you know, hey, that's 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 what y'all all say, right? <laughs> so you see, know? You know, see the table's turning. Echo Fox completely dominating out the bat. Pretty nice to see, you know. Nice change space for Solar. Trying to make each play. He was able to take out Kyle, but that said, they were able to get the trade. Can he bounce? You know, one, V, one. He's going in for the kill. Is he able to do it? No, he gets taken up by Mental with a headshot. But Summons has powers in the sights. Powers. Moving in for the kill. Able to get a hit off. But you know able he is, to get though. the kill. <laughs> right. Any, anybody who, 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 uh, who we see just fight powers. Always full red. Always full red. Or dead. Though. Yeah, we don't see him no more. You don't miss shots again. But these are some good booms by Optic. Optic, they still can turn this one around, folks. It's early on in this round. Can they close out the domination? They kind of turn up a little bit, and they do. They needed that. They place. get one round on the board. We saw on this foundation matchup. All right. This, if you, if you, if you think about it, let's think about it. If you think about the grand finals matchup where Echo Fox won that map number one, had a good performance on foundation in map number two. Optic Gaming still turn it around and then 7 0 them on Reclaim right after. Right? Yeah. Reclaim is our map three. All right. So in in this That's one, it. let's let's see. You know, let's see if uh we'll see if the outcome is gonna be the same or if Echo Fox once again showed that they have gotten better from their fit. Uh, I wouldn't want to go against Optic on Reclaim. But they've learned at all. from their failures. You can uh, say what? I wouldn't want to go against Optic on Reclaim. You know why? Because when Optic played Reclaim in New Orleans. They completely wiped every team. If, if I'm Echo Fox, I want to play Optic on Reclaim. You know why? Because I got Cook Bomb in New Orleans. Yeah. Okay, I want it. I want, I want it. Cook me again. Yeah, from, but from what I've seen, with Optic Gaming against the East Finest and also Echo Fox on Reclaim, that's the map you don't want to go to. So if I'm Echo Fox, if I'm Franchise, I'm that's true. In a money situation, right in, a, in a money situation, it can be rusty. But in a 2K, like I say, take your opponents on their best map. Bring the best out of them. <laughs> All right, Explosives putting out some Lancer fire. 12 kills, 7 downs, but the in-game leader for this Optic Gaming roster, he is on to the next level. We see Summons in the 1v1. He's going left and right, looking back and forth, trying to put out Lancer fire everywhere possible. As you saw, he just got it down for his teammate. That's what makes Explosives so damn good as a leader on this team because he leads by example, and he plays for his teammates. All right. All right, here we go. 
So explosive. Oh, wow, you guys are seeing him I was gonna say, now. no, you guys should see oh, Blaze right now. Blaze is sitting here like fan <laughs> boy watching this game. <laughs> and I also think, you know, here we go is, is something that Veli's always say. I, and I actually before this, I said, Veli, stop seeing here we go so much, right? And I'm up here, here we go. <laughs> But okay, in, 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 in this one, you still see the first points of the game are gonna finally use the scoreboard in favor of Echo Fox. But when, you, when you're playing against two teams of this uh, this caliber, you don't cap your home hill early on because those few points mean nothing. It's all about oh, oh, the, the name was good. They didn't get shoulders, but he was weak. He almost got caught with the name. But you gotta force this guy to shoot the boom, right? Yeah. He's gonna try to put it off on the side, so both booms are out. That's fine. That's not a bad. That's okay. The pressure from mid-map is there. Icy did go down. Kenny is distracting the other two. He did find a kill. He's going to get up while Kyle's distracting him. The cow, the cow, Kyle's cow capping the hill and Icy got up. Great okay. play from Kyle. Okay, cool. All right, this is the 2v1 that they take right here. Solar's taken out by Kyle. Oh, and one more mental trying to make something happen. He was unable to as Kyle picks up his second kill in that exchange. But Frey is full red, looking for cover. This is a fight that Frey's like that. Any defensive play style. It's the bounce, unable to do so. Kyle on the three kill streak right now at this very moment, making a statement. All right, so Summons, he's, he's gonna fall on this one. Oh, you could have, Fran could have hit that up eight, but Kyle came in. This is five in a row. Powers comes through. Powers, mental. Oh, the smoke behind mental, it forces Powers the cover swap. Forced the cover swap. Powers! Forced them out of cover. There we go. They got it, it's not over yet. Powers! Now it's Stop over. Stop this. Stop. Now it's over. Stop. Now it's over. Oh, Powers is a problem. See, Kenny has been the most humblest player. The most hum the most humblest player <laughs> over the last <laughs> events besides New Orleans, right? Like, right. you know, hey, good games. Yeah, yeah, GG's. You know, now he is just pissed whenever he plays oh, the yeah. optic gaming roster. I ain't never seen him shoot so many bodies and wide button so many people. It takes a lot to piss Kenny off. When I saw yeah, Kenny get up and start yelling at Optic. But the rest of the season is going to be fire, you guys. I'm oh, telling you. That's why, yo, one more time. Just in case you guys are tired. You, <laughs> you don't know, go didn't to hear San me Diego, say it. If you don't go I'm to San Diego. Diego. I'm dead with you. If you don't go to San Diego, y'all, <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't know what to tell you. But San Diego is one you don't want to miss. Oh, Because this matchup is even better on land. And it's insane. All right. Let's get off with Powers. Off the initial. Let's do no X-ray as well. Let's kind of see it from his perspective, right? We always see the players from the X-ray, but let's see how quick his reactions are. And Powers has been in these one v one positions a lot. This time he's gonna have summons. Last map he had solar. All right, but in this one, oh, he, he gets a shot. He delivers one, but he took the incense out right away. Decided to get a position to help his teammate. And he's gonna have to double back because his teammates got the rest of the kills. It's just summons alive, and he gets it. Domination coming through. This is a veteran, Blaze. That's a veteran, all right? That, the that's play that he no, made that's a right rookie. there. That's a rookie. That's a veteran play. That's a, a veteran rookie. play by a rookie. There you go. That's insane. There you go. Force, now, force now, now kids at home, out of there. You know, powers. You know, this is that was his first event, the last one, all right? He's 16. He, yeah, you know, for all, the, all, all everybody who's who's out there who's, who's under the age of 16 watching this, all right, you can, you can be that guy. You can be that guy, all right? Yo, go, go, you know, live.gearsaware.com, gamebattles.com, okay? Hit the Gears of War forums up, okay? Hit up the GFC and the Crimson Gal tournament. Get involved in the action. If there's Get anybody those early reps to. in, folks, all right? So you can be here on fight night and so, so we can catch you. If there's anybody you should ever listen to when it comes to grinding and dedication, I'm yeah. telling you right now, Blaze is that guy. Blaze went to every event and grinded to hit that pro status. And Blaze, how good did it feel when oh, you got there? Oh, man. I, Oh man, I kicked over three chairs. <laughs> <laughs> I kicked over three chairs. So what's the right. progression from Summons? We're gonna see him push it two v two with franchise and powers. Two players who have been on absolute power for Xbox. Oh, optic. Franchise for absolute life. Power Big to round for Optic if they can get it done. He's gonna get it. Oh, okay. here comes reinforcements. Kyle. Nice. Kyle right. came up, helped out franchise in a one v two, and was able to get the double kill. On board with praise, four, two, six, six, game, this is a big round. Going down 5 1 compared to 4 2 and a half is huge. Who is Can I look at the overhead map real quick? I just want to see where it's stacked up at. Okay, Optics Home Hill. They get an aggressive down low plan for home. E is clear. All right. 
You're gonna see that red outline may end up playing towards that e hill towards the background, but it's Optic Gaming trying to play for a home hill setup to get some control. Typically, teams will fake the home hill push and cut out through the, through, to the left of Mental, that open area of the map. They'll cut through there and go towards the neutral hill, right? And uh, by, by rotating back and forth, you force your opponents to break their setups, right? Because they're gonna be trying to move players towards the home hill to defend that. Then move players back towards the neutral hill to defend that. And if you do it, you know, usually it only takes about one time if you do it right. But once you do it, you just double back, take the hill with the less bodies. The general franchise is able to clean it up, but he sees his teammate on their home hill. Soldiers in the 1v1 against IC he gets down. But Mental coming to rescue him, he gets revived, but also full red from the support fire from this Echo Fox roster, a team that does it so well. And here he goes, picking up a kill. Mental takes out IC, takes out Kyle in a quick shot. And here they are with the advantage. All right, so this is the home hill of Echo Fox in which Optic has just been so aggressive on. You see the lead, but it's only going to be a 10-point lead. Still plenty of time for Echo Fox to regain. But in moments like these, Echo Fox knows that they can't get their home hill back. They typically push across map towards their opponent's home hill, but they're actually going to isolate the home hill about the gaming towards the 1v1. They're going to have that player fight the 1v1 on the other, on the other side for the 2 cat. But this is also a big engagement there for Echo Fox. And they're going to lose the players. It's gonna be one more, they're gonna lose IC as well. That was nice. And the other player nice towards the home hill of Optic. He stays, you know, he stays alive, but towards the end of this one, not much the Echo Fox can do. You see summons, he's gonna get some help from Mental. They just wanna decap this hill. Try to secure this one in the book. And they will. So going forward two and a half. Alright, if you question My fault, sorry, I apologize. It's five two. If you ask me. You know, last week or last month, how this matchup would turn out, I would have never guessed would have been at this point. <laughs> but but if you look at New Orleans, yeah. and you just saw Echo Fox progressing. They learned from New Orleans. Learning from every mistake that was made. Yes. This is just the first time we got to see them l learn from that from the grand finals mistakes, right? Yeah. They've corrected all of them, and uh, they just become better each time. And now we're seeing the fruits of their labor. This, so also, let me take into account, this was the same position Echo Fox was in from the grand finals, folks. Yeah. 5-2. And I said that if they would have won that round and got match point against Optic, they would have won that series and reset it in the grand finals. So this is, we all get to watch and witness Echo Fox. Did they really learn from that foundation map in the grand finals, right? right. To close it out. But this is where we see I see 13 downs, putting out absolute lancer fire to help out his teammates in the show with the stats. But with the smoke grenades out, we see the boom shot in the pistons. And they're gonna make a push. Kyle is taking out first round praise powers. Able to pick up yet another kill on Solars. Absolutely dominating him in this matchup. A red ice putting out shots on oh, shot still has been picked up. And here he goes to push out the fight. Mental Ooh. is coming in for the fight, but Icy runs away, gets down, gets the kill on Summit. Oh, Yo, his Icy control. played that well. He knows it. The wide button. He's going to get down doing it, but it was his worth it. His teammate got a boom, though. His teammate has a boom. Somebody has E as well. So we're going to have three players off that respawn. They might hold the two now. They might have to hold the two. That, yeah. that, was, that, that should have happened. Optimum, because, like, like I was saying, in that pre-match speech, you know, I think this was the round in which they won, where they ended up taking the map and they kept it close, right? They kept it close, they kept their confidence, they ended up taking this map and they 7 0 on map number 3, Reclaimed. Reclaimed is our map number 3 in this series as well, folks. So, Echo Fox with a boom and a 2 cap. Echo Fox up 5-2 in round count and 2-1 to one in hill. Franchise trying to make a play. Also, yo, take into count, right? Huh? That side bounce that he's doing, he has to do that side bounce because if he stays in that cover, that's how you get back A, right? Oh, yeah. He has to side bounce wide on that angle and force that player to have to whip that camera and get that shot. So, Kenny with the boom in hand, they're going to try to pistol. They, they, they get that guy off the E hill, but he's going to be back for the decap. The fish came in. I don't know if he has, he, has, he has no more points. He's gonna have some help, the Lancer, but he stays alive. That guy nice goes down. Lancer franchise. Franchise gets the down and the kill on Mental, able to keep Kenny alive. And also, summons in a bad position. Also, you notice at the top, a lot of these players recognize when they can't revive their teammates, right? They, they go for the high percentage play. 
they know that sometimes you got players that's going straight for those kills, and that's going to be an easy kill for you, because that guy is like running in a straight line. But they're doing great. No one to get the revive, no one to get trade off. Yo, yo. Great, Corona. great all around Lance Fire. I'm impressed. Corona Carlos, man. He had the build of the day. Not only that, but powers, knowing when to pull out the weapon like a pistol to support his teammates and get the down rather than running across them with a shotgun. I see a lot of pro players still make that mistake with Powers. 16 years old, he knows the difference. And that's yeah. what happens when you team with players such as Powers, Kenny, I, I'm, Yo, know, like if, if Echo, nice. so one thing that Echo was known for a lot before, sure especially in the old roster, was just controlling two caps, controlling angles, lancers, right? Yeah. They still working these, they still, ooh, see, his confidence, he missed that shot, that was the one he needed to hit, I don't know if he wins the match. Yes, he does. Powers. Yes, he does, Powers, oh, holding off strong. One-on-one -on -one against men too, by the I'm, way. I'm fine with Echo Fly playing the two-cap control, right? They've been out playing Optic for the two-cap, they've been winning these fights. Woo! -hoo -hoo. Stop. Oh, boy. They, they worked it, this is the match point, right? This is the round that was so important for them. And, uh... Yeah, they, the boom is over there by the home hill. Praise had a key one v one in which he needed to win and go big. But match point. There we go. They match made it to point. match point. Making the statement, Blaze. Now, I have to prove me wrong and say even if they would have made match point in the grand finals, we still would have won, right. uh, won five rounds in a row. Well, you can do it now. <laughs> you can do it now. And and you, you, you asked me my prediction. You was like, Blaze, I know you're gonna say Echo Fox, and I said, Nah, I'm gonna say after gaming, just gonna fact. Are you gonna say something wild? No, no, okay, no, okay. I'm not saying nothing while Optic's not coming back in this one. <laughs> I, I, I'm, sure. I'm sorry to break y'all hopes and, and let Optic <laughs> Gaming fans know, but it's a reason when that six is deadly, okay? The six is deadly out here, folks, all right? And when you get towards that match point, it's hard to, to come back from that one, especially when that deficit is as big as, as a 6-2. Uh, but we saw Rise do it before, okay? We saw Rise do it twice, at one, uh, twice in one event. All right, that was Vegas You're this right. year. You're right. All right, so it can be done. Back to back. Can be done. All right, let's see what's, let's see what's going to happen. This momentum is <laughs> definitely a thing in Gears of War. But with the frag grenades down by praise, I also, think they're going to have a counter. Also, Echo down. Fox, that, uh, I didn't give him credit for it, but the boom placement of pistols was smart. Boom playing pistols was so smart uh, because I think so comfortable with fighting clothes, they gave him a different look that they haven't called in a while, right? Even though I've been good at it, Echo realized that how bad they were beating them in those open initials before that one went down. They made sure they kept the fight directed in that Pistons area. In this one, you're going to see four members go down all up the powers. He's going to be in the open area of the map. He's going to 1v2 against Mentals and Solars. As long as he stay alive, as long as he can, he's going to extend this round for his team. So he actually ran towards the E-Hill by himself. He was trying to draw out a 1v1, but he's going to end up drawing a 1v2. One boom still in the hand of Solars. Kyle gets in a power position to trap Solars. The boom goes down. Mental has to die, but Solars goes down as well. Here comes the pinch from the Foxes and the Slaves. Great play. Move through the closed area of the map, and they pick up both those kills. Four members down of Optin Gaming. Summons defending his home hill from an oncoming domination for Echo Fox Roster that is thirsty for this seventh round. And here he is in a 1v3. Can he make something out of the place? Ooh, that was a good shot by Summons. He needs to deliver that next brick. They're working together. You can see the man advantage in favor of Optic Gaming, 4v3. Now it became a, a 3v1. This is a bloodbath. 3v1 now. Summons able to stay alive throughout that whole encounter as well. All right, 3v1. We're going to be on 16-second respawn timers. These players have a 2v2 to get their home hill back. Kenny took a lot of damage as the revive comes through. Icy tried to get the reach. He's going to have to go big, Blaze. He's got to go. All right, unable to do so. He gets chunked by Summons, so. Members of Echo Fox are there for the cleanup. Summons knows he's actually trying to run out of here because he knows that he can't stay. And as I say that, Summons says, put some respect on my name. He goes right back into the fight. He gets one looking for the double. And he gets okay. it. Okay. Can he get the triple, though? He's going to have some help. They trying to go big, trying to even the odds, trying to bring it down to the wire. Icy trying to extend the round. Touching the hill, trying to stay alive. How many kills in a row has Summons and Explosives had throughout this whole but it's fight? A, it's about closing out the round. They're woo -hoo, and okay. he finally gets shut down. But that was still an awesome performance by Summons to keep that domination going. Keep the members of the Echo Fox flooded towards that home hill, right into the Optic Gaming trap. But towards the end, it's all up to mental. Can he get one more kill? Can we keep the bloodbath in favor of Optic? 
2v2 fight now. Solus has a boom shot. But he missed one. He has All one right. bullet left. One boom, two players in the home hill. All right, he was able to take out Isis. There's one more player before another one comes up. Yes, he's here. Oh. There it is. Kyle gets it down and a kill on Mental. That's it. Oh, never points. mind. It's not it yet. Echo Fox has to get a triple cap. It's finally done. They have to get a triple cap. I can, I can say at least throughout that entire fight, Echo Fox kept control. Well, not in keep control of that heal the entire time. But the damage may have been done. If Echo Fox can win it on this round, that is a big statement. If they can win on this round, Solaris is by himself on his home hill, by the way. Yeah, I take it back, he does have help. He has two members, actually. Solar's having oh, I see a lot of kills going in their favor, but it's the home hill needed, and they can't get it. Too it's little, another round, late. five to game, and going to board. Three, six. That, that was, was a, that a, was a dog fight. fight, though. It was. Echo Fox fought for that hard. And, and that's something positive you can take away, right? Even on the rounds you lose, you got to be able to take something good out of it, right? Yeah. Because if if you're playing a team like Optic Gaming, if you can't take nothing good out of the rounds to offset the bad, then you're just going to have all this negativity building up <laughs> on, the, on, on the team's shoulders you're right. as the rounds progress, right? So take the good out of that that, hey, we were cooking them on the home hills. They barely got it. They lucky that they won the opening initials, right? If you, can, if you can pinpoint that, it's like, all right, well, we just got to be a little bit better off those opening initials. We'll be okay. Uh, you you kind of play for the next one. But take into account powers. 32 kills, 11 downs. Killing it. Killing it. Mm -hmm. What was it? At least time dead on the team as well? I'm right. I need, to, I need to see a triple double. Double kills, double downs, double time dead. Okay. All right. Triple double. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. One day I'm going to see a triple double and I'm going to be so happy. Oh, it may have happened, but I haven't been paying attention to it over the last few seasons. So it's going absolutely huge. Taking out both Kyle and Fran Chaz while Powers clicks up the frag grenades. So it's not looking good for Xbox. Three players are down while all players are currently alive for out of game. We have really long respawn time, so each death is important for these players. Oh, and he gets taken out. Powers down by explosives. Mitchell takes out Kenny. And Optic Gaming Blades are showing some fight. They're showing some fight, but you still got to end this one out. You still got to close it out. They're working together. Optic really feeling the pressure of not wanting to lose the 2K. Trying to play to perfection. Did they just turn their monitors off? They added another one to the board, but this is the thing, though, right? They're looking like a new team. But hold on. It gets, it's only been two. It gets harder. All right. It gets harder. You okay. know why? Why? Those respawn timers are increasing. Oh, okay. It's 2.8. They oh. added an extra two seconds. Ooh. All right? If Optic loses one of these initials, they lose one of these initials. It's bad news, Bears. <laughs> and I, also, I think that you, you should put a, a long-range... Torquebo may have been the play, actually. I don't know if they may have peeped out on that, but it may have been the play only because... It, but it, it's, a double, it's a double-edged sword, right? But you also got... This is a, a, a position which Powers is defending. All right? So if Powers gets the nades, he has plays for the incense, it's light. I'm with it. Yeah. It's uh, it's not something too crazy, right? Because the Torquebo, like it is, that's a double-edged sword because... Right. Literally, actually, because uh, even if you win a boom fight and your opponent picks it up and let's say Summons grabs it and it starts going everybody, that's not a good position. Not at that all. initial. But this opening break is everything. You're going to see Mitchell. He's going to try. He realizes he makes it in first, and they, uh, Echo Fox realizes it as well. Oh. So they choose to go towards the closing of the map. Solar is Solar. Up double time. He gets two kills. Franchise being aggressive, takes out explosives before he gets down by Mental. Three down for Optic, three down for Echo Fox. Echo Fox one round away from being your 2K champions right now for North America. Is that, so, is, did the bone get picked up? Yes, it oh, yeah, did. It's in the hand Kenny. of Kenny. Wow. It wouldn't want it in anybody else's hands. Kenny Bounce, one of the smartest players in the game right now. I think that was his last boom. He picks up his shock and he pulls it out in a one Mental has one day left, by the way. Oh, this is going to be big. And with Mental getting support fire and help, he is in a 1v3. Kenny stands, no chance. He gets down immediately. He gets taken out also by Slow. The franchise came just a little too late to help out Kenny Bounce. Go with the frag grenade out. We see IC and franchise guarding the D hill. Optic game, they're gonna go for the kill. Those franchise! Didn't connect, by the way. No, so that's all. Those got wasted. Franchise picks up a really nice kill on Mental to slow down the Optic Gaming advance, and the gameplay is gonna slow down just a little bit. Boom's gonna be up in one minute. Nades are offset by 10 seconds, so they're up in a minute and 10. So with that being said, you should kind of focus your attention towards the boom shot. I don't know what the point at which NCNs got picked up, but NCNs 
could be uh, a valuable move because instant respawn timer is on a minute and 30. So keep that into account. So they're they're a little bit lower, but based off when it got picked up compared to the other power weapons, all three of them can be spawned up around the same time. So we'll see who can get nade control, instant control, boom control. You see Optic Gaming, they're recognizing this, that the boom is going to be close to under 30 seconds. No point in them pushing. They actually, they actually may push just to draw attention further away from the boom shot, right? So they can get that pick with ease. I'm pretty sure Echo Fox is aware of this, but Echo Fox next move is gonna be everything. Even if the boom gets picked up, if you can control two sets, two sets of names coming from statue to close, yeah. that's still a lot of pressure for that boom shot in that open area. But it looks like even in close, the names are being controlled. But Echo Fox waited for the last possible moment to make their move. I see with the quick read, the, the extra Lancer support coming in from power. Solar should not live for too long, and Echo Fox may have timed this push perfectly to get the new boom off respawn. It should be there, but these players are opting to decap the home hill. I think they're going to send that last player to pick it up for free. Things are up now as well. And guys, in case you haven't been paying attention to the points, Optic Gaming, they're going to have to go ahead and get a domination if they want to win. It's coming through now. I see the last line of offense right there was unable to do so but powers that was a close one able to get their d hill that, what that they was, both that had was, oh they, yeah oh, they, so he, he, he saved it he, he saved the instance to the last minute i was yeah. like all right that was weird for a second <laughs> all right so but he did pick him up he just he just held on to him that's that's smart because now you got a boom and a two hill advantage you got a boom and you may have one more instance to watch your home hill Optic has to go for the domination if they want to win. Yeah. So they have to be nothing but aggressive and precise with every single one of their pushes now. They cannot afford to stop because right, they have I'm, no down, time. I'm, down, I'm down to put all my marbles on this uh, on this D-Hill. Right? All right, let's go. Let's see. 3v3. They have time for Can one Can Echo Fox push. close it out? Here we go. Crazy. This is it. Pushing in. Going to get this instant towards the right corner. He finds a kill, but the boom finds oh. a double. Here comes the player flanking through mid-map. Nade kill, picking up on powers. 2v2 situation. Turns into a 3v2. Here comes a third member late for Optic. Does he make it in time? He needs Kyle. to go huge. It was explosive. Kyle. He goes down. That's five Kyle. down for Optic Gaming. And folks, Echo Fox comes out on top and wins your North American 2K Finals. In the distance, thrown. Any bounce. Making a statement with that 7-4 Echo Fox 2-0 against Optic Gaming. That's why I said, man, the six is deadly, y'all.